My name is uh, Joel Crandall, and I'm the creator and developer of the Voila Method. And I'm here today to talk to you about some, uh, let's call it spiritual straight talk. And the reason about this uh, is, you know, you hear a lot of these buzzwords that are used in certain circles, especially the wellness community or the healing community, etc., etc., etc. And there, a lot of times you'll hear this word like, well, I'm trusting my intuition. So I want to talk about intuition a little bit today because it's a really interesting phenomena in that. So we have intuition, obviously, which is very um, ingrained in us. It's out in our reptilian brain. But we also have fight, flight and freeze, right? So we have those three measures. And they're on the same continuum. And I don't want you to think of this as a straight line. I want you to think of this as a loop. So you can kind of be anywhere on this loop. But so many people are like, oh, I'm trusting my intuition. I'm trusting my intuition. And my question is, are you really? Because if you have any instance of fight, flight, or freeze happening within yourself, then you can't access intuition fully. You cannot. Now, how many people on this planet earth right now are walking around in fight flight or freeze probably 99 percent especially in the, in, the, in the times we're living in right now now that's not saying that you can't have intuition in these times but the intuition can only come when you are mind body and spiritually aligned uh we call it center pointing and if those aren't in center in a center point, then you are not going to come from a place of purity. You're going to come from a place of what some people would call the ego, right? So along with the mind, body, and spirit, you also have your ego, your um, id, and your super id. These also have to be center pointed for you to attain your intuition. Otherwise, who are you talking to? You're right. You're just listening to this side going, hey, hey, this is it. <laughs> Right. You're not really accessing your best interest. You're you're accessing your best interest, but not in a global sense. You're doing it as an individual as individuality uh, sense, which isn't for the greater good. It's for only you. So that may sound a little confusing, but that isn't real intuition. Right. Intuition is when you are quiet, calm, present. And how many people are, can actually be present? Well, we're going to go back to that 99% cannot, right? They are never present. They're always in the past or they're thinking in the future. They're never in that present moment. And the present moment is constantly moving as well, right? Because time constantly moves. So ask yourself, are you really accessing your intuition or are you just blowing bullshit smoke at people? That's a lot of what's happening, right? So this is spiritual straight talk to cut through a lot of mumbo jumbo and the bullshit that's out there. A lot of you are using and saying, oh, I'm speaking from my intuition, but you're not, you're speaking from your ego, all right? You really have to get yourself center pointed and balanced in order to even attain and reach that intuition, okay? Now, there are exceptions in the fact that, like, if you go into an extremely dangerous situation, um, then everything can be heightened, right? But also, if you're coming from that place of ego, everything can be heightened. So you have to really know how to differentiate from yourself. And if you, again, that fight, flight, or freeze, if we're over here at 100%, then you're not going to really access this unless you go full circle all the way around and then you'll access it at that heightened level that we just talked about so a lot of times you, you know again you, when you hear someone say well this is just my intuition and this is what i feel that's not really what they're saying that's really not what they're saying so just be aware of that because you hear it a lot and it just gets thrown around all too often and that's kind of been a problem or an issue with the wellness and spiritual communities that they just throw around these buzzwords with no real meaning behind them. So I just wanted to give you something to think about, uh, maybe something to ponder a little bit. 
And, you know, access your intuition, but in order to do that, you really got to be aligned with mind, body, and spirit, ego, super id, and id as well. And they all have to be on this center point, right? So if we have a cross, it's going to be on that center point. If it's not, then it's not coming from a place of true intuition. That's all I'm saying. All right, just something to think about. Enjoy your day. Happy St. Patrick's Day.